my name is Antonio Vargas and I'm going to talk about the meshless finite difference for solving the spatial solo model with anomalous diffusion. The solo or solo swan model is a model from the 50s which explains how changes in population, capital accumulation and technological progress affect economic growth. In particular, it highlights the role of technological progress in driving long-term economic growth. The classical solo swan model describes the evolution of the physical capital over, through, over time through the differential equation of the screen, where A, as a function of time, represents the technology, capital K represents the capital, and capital L represents the labor. Also, function F represents a production function, and delta is a depreciation rate, and S is a safe fraction of the output. In this talk, we are gonna work under the following assumptions. First, L is assumed to be a constant and S is equal to one. The diffusion processes of capital include no local effects and long-term memory. And the mobility of the capital is also induced by the technological progress in the sense that uh, capital is able to move to, uh, from regions with lower technological progress towards regions with higher technological progress. And finally, we assume that there is no diffusion of technology. Having this in mind, we arrive to the following system of partial differential equations. First, a parabolic system, uh, sorry, a parabolic partial differential equation where the first term, the temporal derivative of lower k, where lower k represents the per capita capital, is the temporal evolution of the variable. The second term, which is represented by the fraction, uh, fractional Laplacian operator, represents the non-local effect of the anomalous diffusion. The third term, the cross diffusion terms, represents the ability of capital of lower k to move uh, toward, towards region with a higher technological progress. The fourth term represents the production of the per capita capital. And finally, the last term, it represents the depreciation of the variable. Second, the uh, ordinary differential equations uh, describing the production of, produ of technological progress. And we complete the model with the initial conditions for both K and A. This fractional Laplacian operator is going to be represented by um, the following formula where these two derivatives are the well-known derivative of the left and right Caputo fractional derivative, which are described as four. And also with a residual term, which is this sum over here. In order to find the numerical solution of this solo model with, with spatial diffusion and anomalous diffusion, we are going to employ the generalized finite different method, which is a meshless method based on the Taylor series and moving least squares. This meshless met method was introduced by Jensen in 1972 and Liska and Orkis in 1980s, and its explicit formula was developed by Benito Gavetti Nureña in 2001. The main advantages of this method are, first, that the numerical schemes do not depend on the nodes of the domain in a rigid way. Second, the discretization of the spatial partial derivatives uses a very simple expression as a linear combination of the values of the solutions, as we will see in a minute. Also, the possibility of using a very regular and complicated domains. And finally, the possibility of the extension of this method by using the Taylor series and moving these squares for this finding the discretization of the fractional derivatives by using a very recent paper as we will see in a minute. Let me very briefly explain the fundamentals of the GFTM. First, we assume that omega is a domain in R, and also we choose a discretization of such domain. Then, by choosing a star of points, a subset of this set M, by the Taylor series, we are right to the following. And then, by minimizing the functional, the weighted residual function with respect to the vector d, which contains the approximation of the partial derivatives, 
by minimizing this function, we arrive to the following system of linear equations, which can be solved. And we can explicitly find the discretization of vector d, the approximation of the partial derivatives, as a linear combination of the values of the solution f at the surrounding points. In a very similar way, by using the fractional Taylor series for the left Caputo derivative, which is the following, we denote by df the same vector containing the approximation of the uh, fractional derivative, the, Caputo, the left Caputo fractional derivative. If we minimize this weighted residual function with respect to df, we also arrive to the linear combination, the approximation of the fractional derivatives as a linear combination of the solution at the surrounding points. In the same way for the right Caputo derivative, we arrive for its approximation. Having all this in mind, we can write the approximation of all derivatives uh, which we shall use in our model, where we are going to denote L as the sum of the coefficients of the left and right Caputo derivative for simplicity and also we will denote as g n zero where n represents the space, the temporal step and zero represents the, the center of the star. We denote as g this uh, residual term, the, the sum of the functions. Then our numerical scheme is the following. The, where first we see the, the temporal discretization of the, temp, uh, the time derivative, also the discretization of the fractional Laplace and the, frac the Ries fractional derivative, and where this term over here, this term f, represents the discretization of the cross diffusion term. Concerning this numerical scheme, we are able to prove two main results. First, the consistency which is the consistency of the explicit formula of the GFDN method, uh, which was proved in 2000, 2021 for the one-dimensional case and by Benito and his, his group in 2019 for the two-dimensional case. And more interesting than these results is the convergence result, where we are able to prove that the explicit scheme is convergence under certain, certain conditions for the temporal step. And also we can find explicitly these conditions for the temporal step, which depends on the parameter of the system and also on the distribution of the known in the domain. The numerical schemes, the, sorry, the numerical examples we show um, to, to make it clear the efficiency of the, of the method for solving the spatial solo model. Uh, the following, we are going to use the irregular cloud of points that we can see on the screen. Also, we are, we are going to choose as initial data for k this following step function. And then for this first example, we study the influence of the order of the fractional derivative alpha. For uh, the depreciation rate chosen to be 0 0.05, the initial data for A chosen to be equal 1, and assuming that there is no induced motility of the capital, um, the per capita capital induced by the technological progress, we can see the following. For three different values of alpha, we can see that um, as the values of alpha increases, the diffusion of the capital per capita becomes more um, regular. Our second, uh, our second example, we study, the, we study the influence of the depreciation rate for a chosen value of alpha equals to 1.5, and also assuming that there is no induced motility by the technological progress. We can see for three different values of the depreciation rate that as, as the depreciation rate increases, the solution, the per capita capital, becomes lower for 0 0.045, which is a, 
very uh, low, low value of the depreciation rate, the solution starts increasing at every point. For a uh, delta equals to 0 0.08, the solution starts decreasing, although uh, it makes it very slow, slowly. And for a greater value of delta, 0 0.095, the solution starts decreasing uh, very rapidly. Now we introduce the technology technology induced motility by choosing this parameter to be equals one. The parameter, the depreciation rate is chosen uh, low, 0 0.02, and then we find the following the following graph. If we look at the the left we obtain that uh, capital per capita capital is able to move towards the region where the, where the technology progress is high. As we can see, the technology progress is centered at the point 0, 0 0.1. And also it is worth noting that even if technology is located where the per capita capital is low, uh, in, as in this case, the result is greater than in the case G equals uh, zero. This is the previous, the previous example over here. And as we can see, the maximum value of achieved where technology induced motility is, is assumed is uh, over 50, whereas in the no technology induced motility, the maximum value uh, do not achieve the, the 50 value. Uh, we, we explain this, this behavior as a reinforcement of the capital per capita induced by technological motility. Finally, we uh, show an example of chaotic behavior introduced by the fractional Laplacian. For a value of alpha equals to 1.5, and, and now an initial data for a per capita capital chosen to be equals 1, and assuming some random distribution for the initial data of technology progress, if we assume a very uh, strong, a strong uh, technology-induced motility of, for the per capita capital, we obtain the following graph of solutions. It is important to note that we obtain global, global bounded solutions, solutions that do not uh, explode, that do, do not uh, blow up at finite time, but we obtain this rather chaotic behavior. Now I show the, re the main reference references used in for this talk. First, the paper by Benito Reñan Gavete showing the fundamentals of the method. Second, the paper by Capasso, Engers, Embers, and La Torre, where the spatial diffusion was first introduced for the solo model. Also, uh, very, import very important, the paper by Robert Solow. And finally, the paper containing the discretization of the fractional derivatives using the GFTM. Thank you, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention and I will be glad to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much.